by the time Abraham and by the time Jesus Christ is born, you're talking a lot of years in between. A lot. You know, so, and he said, I existed even before Abraham in verse 58. So that's pretty cool and neat, you know. Now let's go to Romans 9, 5. Romans 9, 5. It says, uh, Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came? Who is over all God blessed forever. Amen. Nine five. Yep. It says whose are the fathers? It says uh Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came? He came in the flesh. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Who is over all, who is over all, God bless it forever. Amen. He's a God. Our God. Not any man. Not somebody created or nothing like that. He's a, a God. Always been and always will be a God. So now let's go to Titus. Titus. 2.13 Titus Titus is towards the back uh, uh, It's past uh, Past uh, uh, Okay, so we're on oh, it's before Hebrews. So Titus two thirteen says, uh, "Looking for the that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, proclaiming our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior as a uh, God." Is saying, "Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ." Amen. He's a God. Um, and now we're going to Revelation. Revelation 19.10. Revelation 19.10. And it says. Uh, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me. See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of, of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Okay. Here's an angel que le está llevando some information to 